Dulce de Leche is a milk-based caramel that is so silky and creamy and indulgent, you're going to fall in love with it. Today we're using it to make this decadent cake that's super easy. Let's get started. The first thing we have to do is brown our butter. It needs to warm up, brown, and then cool in the fridge. So I'm gonna take two sticks or about 225 grams of unsalted butter and place that into a small saucepan over medium heat. My butter's browned to this beautiful golden color. It really changes the character and adds a lot of depth of flavor. I'm gonna transfer this to a medium bowl and then place it in the fridge so it can chill down because I'm gonna whip it up. Look at this color. You can see all of the milk solids have kind of caramelized the heat and they taste amazing. It just gives us beautiful aroma. We're gonna sift the dry ingredients together. So that's one and two thirds cups of all purpose flour, one heaping teaspoon of baking powder, one heaping quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a generous pinch of salt, as well as one and one third cups of granulated sugar. Give it a whisk and we're gonna set aside. So for the wet ingredients, I have my browned butter, which is at room temperature, but still liquidy, and that's totally fine. Now I'm mixing together my half a cup of sour cream, half a cup of whole milk, three egg whites, three teaspoons of a good vanilla. Because the brown butter has all these beautiful specks in it, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of vanilla bean paste as well. Vanilla bean paste has no alcohol, but it does have the vanilla seeds, so it gives you the full visual of the vanilla as well as that wonderful taste. Give it a quick whisk and set aside. It smells really nice already. Now all we have to do is pour the wet into the dry and give it a good whisk. Look how beautiful this batter is. It's kind of mesmerizing. Take a stick of cold butter, run it around the edge and the bottom just so you completely coat the pan. That little bit of butter is gonna hold the flour on and the cakes will release beautifully. If you're having difficulty releasing cakes, here's my advice. Besides buttering and flouring, let the pans sit for like five minutes, just five minutes after they come out of the oven and then dump them out onto that wire rack. If you let them sit for too long, things can harden up again and that's where the problems start. But if it's right out of the oven, the cake is so tender that that can crack as well. So just give it five minutes, then dump it out. It should be fine. I'm using a kitchen scale to make sure each layer is exactly the same. And while they bake, I'm gonna move them around halfway in the oven because my oven has some hot spots, even though it's brand new. Set. Each layer is like 505 grams, give or take five grams. So now we're ready to pop these into the oven right after we do the most important thing, which is add baking strips. So baking strips are just wet fabric strips that you wrap around the edge of your pan. And what they do is cool the edge of the cake layer down during baking. So the center and the outside cook at the same time and they rise evenly, giving you a flat layer with no caramelization on the outside, meaning it's not gonna be burnt and kind of hard on the outside. It's gonna be really pillowy, soft and beautiful. I'm gonna pop these into the oven at maybe like 345 for about 35 minutes or until the edges are pulling away from the cake pan and the center is springy. For my Dolce de Leche buttercream, I'm using store-bought Dolce de Leche. But if you wanna make your own or if you can't find this at your local supermarket, it's really easy to make. Just get a can of sweetened condensed milk, take the label off, place it in a big pot filled with water so it's like maybe two to three inches above where the can ends and then let it simmer for two to three hours. That's it, it's all done. Delta de Leche is really just like a caramely, amazing concoction made from sweetened condensed milk. So just one step and you're done. Okay, let's get to that buttercream. Adding in one pound of unsalted butter at room temperature into my standing mixer fitted with the paddle attachment. And I'm gonna let it run for a couple minutes at low speed until it's really nice and creamy. No need to rush. My butter is nice and creamy, so it's time to add in our dolce de leche, salt, and confectioner sugar. I reserved maybe a quarter to a third of a cup, just in case I need it for the decoration at the end. Now we're gonna spoon in that delicious caramel dolce de leche. You can also make this cake with regular vanilla buttercream and then just fill it completely on the inside with dolce de leche because it's really thick and it's perfect for building cakes. I actually did that for another cake on the blog, which you can check out. Let's give it a mix. Whoa, 
Wait, wait, wait. You have to take a look at this. It looks like insanity. This is my idea of a party. <laughs> Not really sweet, but super like just milky, custardy, and rich. But I will be adding lots of sugar to it, so don't worry. I'm not gonna add the sugar directly into the bowl because I know there's probably lots of little tiny lumps that will just annoy me. So we're gonna sift it first. If you are not the biggest fan of sweet things, always feel free to adjust the amount of confectioner sugar in a regular buttercream. If you're making an Italian meringue buttercream, it's gonna be really silky and not too sweet. But in an American style buttercream, there's just more sugar. So feel free to cut that sugar back. It's totally fine. We're gonna give it a mix, but cover it with a tea towel first. Look at that. That's really nice. The extra sugar we add will help stiffen it up because right now it's really nice and gooey, which is perfect, but not great for building a cake. It needs a little bit more sugar. A few more cups of sifted confectioner sugar. Just like when you sift flour before you measure it, you're aerating the sugar and you're actually using less than if you had packed it all in. Just by the by. I'm also gonna add in an extra like quarter plus teaspoon of sea salt. I like these cake layers cool for about four minutes in the pan and now I'm gonna dump them out. But before I do that, I want you to see that it's totally flat on top. That's why cake strips are amazing. Yay, that's a great, perfect, nice, soft layer. As you can see, these are completely flat and totally uniform. They're all the same height, which is just nice when someone takes a piece of cake, sees that it's all the same, and each bite is consistent. There's not one sad layer in the middle or on the bottom that's all squished in. Hmm. We're gonna let these cool to room temperature and then we're gonna get to decorating our cake. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna assemble the cake. I'm starting off by piping on my buttercream. I'm adding a swirl of the pure dulce de leche on top of each layer, just for a bit of indulgence. Put the second layer on, repeat the process, Because the dulce de leche buttercream is a bit soft, I'm gonna crumb coat it. So covered in a thin layer of the buttercream, scrape away as much as possible, and then chill it. After the cake is chilled, add a second layer of the buttercream on, smooth it out, and then you're ready for your final finishing touch. I made several different versions of this cake, and the one I filmed for the decoration is a four layer, but do it as three. <laughs> Just don't mind this. Three layers is totally fine. I'm gonna create a really easy rope pattern on top using an 869 tip, which is a large open star tip. Tip face on the top, bring it up and pull out diagonally, and then repeat that process over and over with a small overlap. Really simple and easy. If you don't have this tip or you don't wanna do this style, feel free to just do dollops on top. It'll still look pretty. I can't wait to dig into this cake, although I've eaten a lot of the buttercream already, so I know it's gonna taste amazing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.